Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at what's happened now in January. Last episode I was recording from home so um, apologies for the last couple of episodes the sound quality was probably not very good and the episodes are also slightly short and um, yeah I was just kind of trying to keep you guys updated on what's going on whilst at the same time not really having the tools to do so. So thanks for watching those and um, right last time we spoke about how terribly we're doing uh, and as you can see from the start screen uh, we are in 18th um, and w to be honest 18th not really not realistically because we've got 28 27 games where all the other teams pretty much have less than that um, so I talked about maybe trying changing the tactic last uh, episode uh, like completely fundamentally change the tactic to something completely different um, but actually we might not have the players to do that so I'm gonna just roll with it and see what we what we get with what we've got at the moment till the end of the season and then if things don't improve at all um, if we don't achieve promotion which I don't think we will at this point um, then we'll think about completely restructuring the whole system to something more akin to what I would normally do. Just to kind of remind you, so the tactic that we're using at the moment was built around the original players of Hereford, so the players that actually play for Hereford at the moment. Um, that worked really well for us. We spent uh, the entirety of that time where, whilst we were still using the original players of Hereford uh, in first place or second place. And then as soon as we brought in different players, uh, that didn't work at all for them, and we started plummeting. And this is like three seasons on now, we're still looking for a promotion place uh, since then, which probably means we need to rebuild the whole system to something that I'm um, more comfortable with um, playing with. So this is this, this system is actually not very realistic, maybe, even, but it worked really well with the players that Hereford actually has, which um, is good. Right, so just to show you a few updates as well since uh, the start of the season, I brought in some new players and I'm going to start with order of um, uh, of um, position, I think. Uh, first one up, we're going to look at Dave Stevens. He's going to be um, one of our main central defenders, I think, I'm hoping anyway. Uh, he is quite old at the moment, but he's quite good for that position, for our level. Next up, we got Josh, um, also for central defend. Actually, I got th three new central defenders. That's m our main uh, improvement this transfer window. The third one is Chris Smith, and then one more change. Actually, two more, but uh, the other one was not really a transfer. the The next change is defensive midfielder Jack Hunter. So he's going to be playing in the defensive mid. Uh, midfield position for ball winning midfielder on a support role and last but not least we've made uh, a comeback from someone we've got uh, ages ago but then got relegated to our youth and now he's back Daniel uh, he is a attacking midfielder so that's the those are the four five changes that we've made this January um, Nothing else has changed. Um, let's looking at the squads quickly. Um, I think I've showed you a lot of these players, all of them actually. So nothing else really has changed. Um, I think. Can we ever done make? I can't remember if I've made the team for this next game or not. Usually I prepare the team in advance. It looks like I haven't. Okay, cool. So let's carry on. Um, oh, we've just played a match. I see. Okay. So what I usually do when I'm ready to record an episode, um, but well, when I'm ready in the game to record an episode, um, I will get everything set up and stop playing essentially, and I'll go back and play 2022. Uh, that's been the. Uh, the save that I've been playing in parallel. So I'll go back and play 2022, which is actually going quite well. We are looking for promotion. If you guys have been watching the previous series for la last year's series, um, yeah, it's going quite well. 
but it does mean that I then when I come back to this one I forget where I'm at with it so normally I would pause just before I get a match and get it all set up and ready to go but that hasn't happened in this case I hope you've all had a nice Christmas and New Year's break. I certainly did and didn't do much to be honest other than couch potatoing and uh, playing along. Okay, he's new. So next up we're going to play Leamington Spa. Now, um, we managed to stay in 19th place as the other teams catch up with us, which is good. So they're recommending that we go with these instructions, which I might. Okay. Let me just resize these. That's not what I meant. Okay. <clears throat> right, so uh, let's build a team for this match. Uh, there's no fitness no fitness issues, so we can just go ahead and pick freely. Uh, this guy has a promise to play, so let's stay with him. Uh, I'm going to stick with these two for now. I'm going to put Jack Hunter. Let's mm. get Gary. Gary. I always call him Gary, but his name is Gary. There we go. Okay, I, part of me wants to put Daniel on. Hmm. Don't know. Let's compare him with Gary. Oh, there we go. Looks like this guy's a lot better. Hmm. Now nah, we'll stick with this guy. Okay. Cool. Right. Let's go ahead. E yes. And here we are. So we are coming from not a very good form. We had two losses in the last five games and a draw. Uh, Leamington has also had two losses in a draw, so it's hmm, okay. But they are further up the, le the league than we are. Much further up the league, I think. 14th, we are 27th. Some clubs only have 24 games. Wow. Okay. Here we go. I'm actually going to pause the game real quick uh, so I have time to change this to the league table. <sighs> yeah, we're not doing great this season. Really not doing great at all. Which is part of me, you know. Um, is playing the FF, uh, FM22 version in the previous save for some sort of satisfaction because this save is being so miserable that I need something that's going well to keep me going. And I kind of just want to insist with this 
exper experiment that I've set up. I don't want to give up on it, which is part of the reason why I'm reluctant to change things. Uh, it's worked for you know, other saves, uh, previous series, etc. But it doesn't seem to be work for this for some reason. I mean, it is, I think the thing is, it uh, the way that we do transfers, I've kept the same, but the tactic is completely different. And usually, I you know, there's a set tactic that I like to use, um, which you've seen in previous series, and this is not. This is something I built around to the Hereford players, so it's not what I usually play with. And also, the other thing that I've been doing in this save that I don't normally do in other saves is take on the advice of uh, staff, take on um, tactical advice. Alright, let's see. We're gonna make a few changes. Um, oh, I didn't look at subs. I was meant to look at the bench as well, but I didn't, I forgot. Oh well. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's save one substitution for later. So, yeah, you can let me know how you're getting on with your saves in the comments if you wish. If um, there's any th similar uh, saves that you've set up where you started off and you built a tactic around the players the club had, and or, or not, you might be the, the kind of person that completely redesigns the club like I did now. Basically, I've used two approaches really combined in this save. The first approach was just to use the players you've got until January, and then the second approach was to completely replace pretty much everyone after January. But one thing I didn't do is change the tactics. I kept the same tactic. Seventy. We normally do the sub last sub now, and I'm gonna put our last sub in. The quality of the players that I have is um, also quite limited. Although they are young players, so they have potential for development. A lot of them have potential to be very, very good, but uh, at the moment they're not. I knew it. There's always a penalty. There is always a penalty. Why is my defense so prone to giving away penalties? I, I suppose we do play with the get stuck in, I think. But still, I, I use that same instruction for other saves and this doesn't happen. I'm afraid it does mean a drop to 20th, and we are, well, yeah, we are quite close to getting down to the promotion, sorry, to the relegation zone. We've been there before, we got ourselves back up, but yeah. Oh, it's not going well, guys, it's not going well. And I 
think I might leave it there and come back and show you what the end result is at the end of the league at the end of the league at the end of the season um yeah well wish me luck and um thanks for watching to the end don't forget to like and subscribe you can also check out the patreon and all the other um links as well in the description you've got lots of links to different things you can get uh yeah anyway just go and check it out all right take care bye bye